Uh, good morning uh, from IBC in Amsterdam. It's uh, quite early here, so bear with us um, as we start our day with all of you. Uh, my name is Sir Les. I'm a product manager on Character Animator, uh, one of Adobe's three primary animation tools, and I also do uh, animation strategy for Adobe. Um, today, at this early hour, I'm very lucky to be here with the birthday girl, Patricia, Patricia, excuse me, uh, from In a Nutshell, um, and also from, for, uh, with uh, Ben and Hannes from Rocket Beans TV. Uh, we're going to discuss uh, art, influence, and animation. Right. <laughs> I, knew, I knew we could get there. Uh, we're going to discuss that for uh, 45 minutes or so. Uh, we'll also be discussing um, some foods and hairstyles, uh, as well as in-office nudity. Um, but that comes later, so stay with us. Uh, and uh, until then, uh, let's just uh, do some quick introductions here, and then we'll see a little bit of the work of these folks. So Patricia, let's start with you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and the work that you do? Um, yeah, um, good morning. My name is Patricia. I'm COO at Kurzgesagt uh, in a nutshell. We are the second biggest YouTube channel in Germany and worldwide amongst the top 10 education YouTube channels. And uh, what we do there, we can see in our short reel. Wonderful. Let's uh, jump into that one quickly. Wow, that's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I look forward to talking a bit more about it. Um, but first, uh, let's introduce Ben and Hannes and uh, tell us a little bit about Rocket Beans. Uh, I think we can introduce us together because we're both um, leads of the motion graphic <coughs> department uh, from Rocket Beans TV. And Rocket Beans TV is, um, as we call it, a TV station, an online TV station, but it's actually um, a YouTube live channel with 24-7 content of um, pop culture, nerd things. We do podcasts, gaming shows. And, but uh, stage events as well, so live events, and uh, yeah, with live audience and music events. Uh, we got this channel and we're streaming. What else? We have to do all the motion graphics, exactly. you see. And we got a department, we are not doing all on ourselves. So uh, greetings to our bodies, but um, yeah, we can have a look at this. Uh, I think the scissor reel is about the whole channel, not yeah. just our work, so yeah. we can have a look. We're about 100 people, so it's not just motion graphics in there, it's like our company as a whole. Great, but they're not here, so we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's take a look at uh, the rocket beams.
So as we were um, watching that, you guys were saying, oh, it's a, it's a bit long, you know, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I think everybody um, gets a little self-conscious when watching their own work. Um, but I think in both of these sizzle reels, we, we saw really unique uh, design styles and, and really beautiful work. It was great to see sort of moving art. Uh, and animation, uh, so much of it is about um, starting from a really creative place. So we'll have to remember to talk a bit about that. And maybe we can uh, start there with just, um, it's weird to call new media new anymore. These, these are pretty established things now, and, and a lot of people are very interested in joining this world. So if you could just tell us a little bit about how you got started and what your motivations were and, and how you find it now. <laughs> yeah, uh, me personally, I was doing um, IT and design, I was studying that. <coughs> and in the first years, I've been always working on code and really like developing websites and this kind of stuff. But as my um, studies were progressing, I um, was thinking that I don't like it too much to just code. Because there was always this part of design. And, and I've been going to Australia for half a year for exchange, no, not exchange, like overseas studies. And I was doing animation there um, in 2009 and from then on. I decided I want to go more in animation and less in coding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I learned some more or less just prints. I did uh, like catalogs, flyers, everything print, and went to a, to a company which had oversized prints, like um, advertising on buses and trains and metros. <laughs> And it was kind of boring because the client always says, like, I don't know if everybody knows this song, but make the logo bigger. Mm -hmm. And it was our main song, make the logo <laughs> bigger. And it was, okay, here are my colors, there's my logo, print it as big as you can. And uh, it uh, was not a pleasure to work there, but greetings to my ex co workers. <laughs> so uh, I, did, I had the chance to go to Rocket Beans, like, in two. 2012, and, and I just went there because I knew a little about printing and they wanted to start some merch because we had this show Game One and they, wanted, they had a big fan base and they wanted to share some Game One uh, t-shirts and some uh, jokes mm -hmm. as uh, prints. And there I learned motion graphic and for example, Ben was kind of a mentor for me. <laughs> and I loved it. I, I did like five years of just print, just stills, nothing moving. And when you start move things and to bring, they, them, to to life, bring them to life, stuff. you never w go back to yeah. nah. I think print is cool. I, I, I love photo photography and I love good print design, but now I'm make it move. It's uh, make, yeah. give, give it some life. I so, think that's a magic moment for most of people going to animation, the point where you actually bring something to life and you're created by your own and it's like you're creating this universe in front of you. And uh, this moment for me was a special moment when I thought I can do all of this. I just have to learn the tools and I can create everything. It's a great I've, moment. I've heard this from uh, uh, somebody at work who said uh, the era of the static image is dead, it doesn't mean that uh, still image isn't exquisite and beautiful and important still culturally, but that there is now the opportunity to move almost everything. And so we see sort of the resurgence of even like the humble gif, um, because mm -hmm. everybody wants to bring a little bit of movement somewhere. What about you, Patricia? Um, <clears throat> my background, <coughs> sorry, um, is in classic photography. I worked as a photo producer and art buyer for over 10 years in big advertising agencies. And um, yeah, at some point advertising for me was not anymore the thing to go with. Or when I started in advertising, I knew I want to do that at latest till I'm 30. And then it turned out pretty well that around 30 I started freelancing and uh, we were sharing an office with friends. and. Philip came by, um, finishing his, um, Philip, the founder of Kurzgesagt, yeah. um, and uh, yeah, the, we were sharing that office and Philip came by, and then slowly things were starting with Kurzgesagt, but in the beginning Philip was illustrating, and uh, yeah, we had this shared office and then things grew together, and since 2015 I am full-time with Kurzgesagt, and uh, it's an amazing job and an amazing time. 
When did, you, you mentioned that Philip was an illustrator. When, when did you uh, start putting things in, into movement? It was really, he finished his university in, when he came to our office. And then his master or his final, um, what's the word? His master thesis, thesis. thesis. Um, was an animated video. Um, so he okay. comes from classic infographic, which is very static, being at a static um, imagery again, and uh, he wanted to bring it more in context and uh, did the video about the solar system, yeah. Hmm. And in, in both your cases, um, you uh, started with fairly small groups um, and have grown. Um, and I think we, I think we see that you know um, it, you know especially creative groups as they start there's really you know a strong aesthetic and 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 an idea of you know how things should look and feel um, but as you grow obviously you have more and more collaborators um, how do you like philosophically what is, what are the things that connect your projects to each other what what um, how do you keep the creativity in it and who contributes. We at Kurzgesagt <clears throat> um, have really the main credo, which is quality overall, which is through all departments, beginning at the research, beginning going over to illustration, over to animation, also in, in, the, in the production. Um, and uh, so, yeah, quality is, we prefer quality instead of quantity. So <laughs> that's funny because it's quite the opposite with us. Yeah, that's why we are pretty much the opposite. And for a YouTube channel, um, yeah, we have since 2013 till today, I think, um, 85 videos, yeah. um, which is not much for YouTube because there are other YouTubers uploading a lot or having live streams. Uh -huh. And um, therefore, yeah, one video takes between 300 and 800 working hours. Mm -hmm. So it's necessary to take that time. And uh, also from the departments, um, it's that maybe compared to other animation studios with us, <clears throat> everyone who works in, in, in the creative departments, the designers and illustrators, they really just have the possibility to design. They do not do motion graphics. And the motion graphic designers, they are just, um, they just can do motion graphics. So everyone can really concentrate on their specialty. And I think that's also, uh, one main point which pushes the quality high. And I'm not surprised to hear this because I've heard uh, your work described as um, you take a, a, a complex topic or a subject and elucidate it through uh, a simpler presentation and animation. And so it's an, it must require quite a bit of organized thinking and organization. Yes, and of course it's, um, in a way, when it starts, Philip's unique talent to really write, st write the scripts in that way that it's a super complex topic and we break it down to a very um, simple video, but it's still entertaining and it's not boring. And uh, it really has, um, it can educate people even about topics. For example, we did a video about um, uh, Neglected tropical diseases, which is not a very sexy topic. It's very <laughs> disgusting. And uh, this is <clears throat> even people who are not interested in, um, we're watching it. And uh, I think that's one of the, the wonderful things about animation, again, is that the, the second that you um, make something uh, visually fascinating and it's, it's moving, um, you can make uh, very dense things engaging. Um, and, and, and something that people will really uh, look at and, and watch because the movement itself is just kind of fascinating. So um, one of the wonderful things about a round table is that we get to go all the way around <laughs> to the opposite of that. Um, you know, just watching uh, the rocket bean sizzle reel, uh, so many different approaches and styles um, in the work. There's, you know, there's uh, 3D imagery and very flat imagery. Um, yeah, and and, and a lot of quantity over quality, perhaps, sometimes. But. Uh, yeah, it's quite, quite the opposite than Patricia, Patricia said. Um, we're producing like, or broadcasting um, up to eight hours of content every day. So there's a lot of shows and obviously there's a lot of people <coughs> as well. 
And um, yeah, it's hard to um, talk about. I mean, you can talk about motion graphics as a motion graphic designer, but I think you have to see it in a whole. Like, uh, there's 100 people, and we're all doing everything basically. So we are motion designers, obviously, but we are on shows as well, on our own shows, game shows, and this kind of stuff, and uh, talking in podcasts, for example. Making so music. making music, and uh, yeah, I think it's uh, it's not that simple w with us. Uh, To yeah, do we don't have to these topics, we don't have yeah. to write this much. We, we got writers and they have ideas and there's work in it before we go out and uh, film it and uh, cut it. So there we have this content which is uh, w w where there were thoughts about it, but we have so much life, so there happens what happens. Or, or there's just one little idea, hey, let's make mm, a show about blah, and then we do it. and. Look if it will f f uh, if, if if it will work. Um, so you have like hours of okay. I, I I have this topic. How do we present it? How do we write the story? You have storyboards. I think a lot of storyboards. Yeah. And then you have the idea. Okay, how present? How do we present bacteria, for example? How do we come from point point one? And so it's. You have like, what's your output in a week, or weekly, or monthly? How often do you upload? We videos? try to 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 upload two videos a month. But, two um, videos a month. Yes. Yeah, that's so we have eight hours of new content a day. So yeah, you see totally, the difference. It's, it's, uh, it's totally the opposite. And your yeah. second second uh, channel in Germany. I didn't yes. knew that. Yeah. And I think everybody on the internet who uses, for example, uh, YouTube, uh, knows uh, in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. I, I've seen yeah. many videos. Kurz uh, gesagt, sorry, but in a nutshell. Uh, As you want. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I've seen a lot, and these topics are kind of hard, hard. But uh, I knew some some of the facts I, I learned from you, and uh, I love it. I love it. I love the color yeah, palette. So we have it, our videos educate people. Yeah, you learn from even, it. Even me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we do not educate so much. We try to entertain. I think with the most, when it comes to motion graphics, most of the stuff uh, has to be fun. So even in the packaging, sometimes there's just a joke around it or something, or a visual idea that uh, transports fun, or like it's kind of funny because we don't have. And at most of the time, any clients where we have to say, um, this looks like your brand. We do have shows like that, but most of the shows we um, do, there's, there's nothing like a client. Or like even the, the writer of the show or the producer of the show uh, always, uh, not always has like a strong idea about how, how the visuals are. So we as motion graphic designers can basically say, hey, I have this idea and I can just make everything from every color to shape to yeah. style. I mean, there's uh, intro things on our uh, channel that are completely fully animated with characters because we <clears throat> have a department where uh, um, some very talented illustrators and can draw really good and when they do an intro for example for a show or a bumper um, often they are like yeah, characters and it's uh, fully animated and when we do when we do Uh, you know, things that's uh, talented yeah, in, 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 in the drawing. It's m more of a technical side or like uh, typography, uh, animated stuff, and 3D going around. And um, yeah, that's uh, quite and interesting. Everybody uses so their skills. And everyone does really everything, like you described. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's not that this department does uh, the intros and. Oh, okay, interesting. No. no. Yeah, we have a CI for our channel. We, we introduced in 2018. We tried to get a, like a. This, um, how's it look, called? The red line? The line you walk? <laughs> I don't know. In Germany, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, like. What's a CI? Uh, the C? I'm sorry. Uh, corporate identity. identity. Okay. Corporate yeah, design yeah. of our TV yeah. station. But with, uh, with the shows, it's, uh, it's so. Uh, Do what you everything. Want. It's versatile. Yeah. It's like from there to there. There's every style on our station. Yeah. Well, you, you both uh, groups mentioned um, uh, research and uh, sort of looking at influence and, and the things that you're bringing in. So I think those are two slightly different topics and I'd like to hear about both. Like just, just um, you know, when you have an idea, what are you doing to explore it and, and to, to, you know, kind of start the, start the process? And then also just um, what, are, what are the things that are influencing you now as you have these nascent broadcasting 
channels, you know. Um, so what are the other what are the other channels? What are the other art forms? Uh, what are what are the other things you're looking to for influence? But I, I'll start with uh, with the research question, Patrizia, which is just how do you start and where do you start looking? How we, basically there is no recipe. Um, there is no secret behind it. it it's really what comes. Um, to Philip's mind, what comes to the team's mind, what comes to our all minds, then sometimes it's topics which are um, actual topics or um, it always depends. Um, it's society topics, um, world topics. Is it a brainstorm or is it is it just somebody comes in one day and says... It can be everything. Right? Yeah. It can be from Philip showing up in the morning and saying, I think we have to do this video. And then um, he starts writing a script or the other authors start writing a script or maybe sometimes even we write a script and then after a while we leave it down because, oh no, maybe we should stop it here. It doesn't work out that well. Um, so there's no red line if you want so on that. Mm. And do you, do you have uh, uh, simultaneous productions or are you focused kind of serially one at a time? No, there are several simultaneous okay. productions all the time. Okay. Yes. And uh, for example, right now there are several classic Kurzgesagt videos in the production for the channel. Then there are a lot of contract work pieces um, uh, in the production. Then we are experimenting with a new form, more a narrative. Um, and uh, so, yeah, there's always a lot um, we work on. Then merge, universe is endless, like with our videos. <laughs> I want to thank you for coming out this early on your birthday to uh, to talk about work. Uh, hopefully, we'll remember to celebrate it maybe at the at the end here when we get into the office nudity section of our uh, thing. Uh, that's their part. Then, that's yeah? right. Well, it's their yeah. It's, that's right. Um, uh, and how about you guys? When when you're when you're you know researching when you're starting new ideas, uh, what's the process there? I think uh, often I've, I think it's like we never left college. So, so our company is basically 100 people and everyone gets along some kind of and everyone has the same interest. So uh, we're often sitting after work together in our little garden thing or on our roof or something and it's just chatting about things and I think the, the things we talk about, we say, hey, it would be nice if we do this thing and this thing. And if everyone is laughing or thinking, that's a great idea, that's stupid enough to, uh, to do it, we just say, yeah, if we can think about it, uh, let's do that. And I mean, yeah, we're, we're a lot of in pop culture and in uh, Netflix things and video games. And so often we're referring to things like Sega, for example, we got this nerdy uh, guy who's like a Zega a mm. nerd fan just oh, Zega was the best and it's he a has appearances on the on the show <laughs> and is always coming back now Mario did all yeah. all wrong and where's Sega today and so it's often just like pop cultural reference and also mm. in our designs sometimes there is like oh I saw the Stranger Things intro I want to do something like this or I'm watching tutorials or reading some blogs and see ah, this isometric look, how is it done in After Effects and just trying it out and yeah, because there's no client saying make the logo bigger, <laughs> and there's a writer who has no, who says hey, I uh, trust you, you're the motion graphic designer, I love your work, um, do what you want, just it's a, call, it's a show about uh, mobile telephones, mm -hmm. do what you want, just show one mobile yeah. telephone in it. So I, th I thought, it's like three months ago, hey, I go with the isometric style and now there are telephones raining down. I got this, uh, um, what you said with the plugins, we got this poker show and we um, named it Final Table because it's like a, a tournament, but um, it's just one table. So that's the name of the show. And I, the, at the time I had to do the intro for that, um, I had this plug-in that was really good with fire. 
And so thinking, ah, oh, final table. It's like the last table on earth and it's uh, Armageddon and everything is coming down just to use that plug in in that <laughs> show. <laughs> so <laughs> so in the intro, the cards are raining down and it's all burning and, it, and it's stupid as hell, but I wanted to use that plug in. <laughs> and <laughs> so, yeah, now it's uh, Armageddon, final table. <laughs> I, should, I should probably do my, my job and maybe, I know I promised Patrizia we wouldn't spend all our time on tech, but we should, should at some point talk a little <laughs> bit about, you know, the product and the animation that we use. But before we get to that, first of all, I would like to say, I think, is it stupid enough to make everybody laugh is an excellent bar <laughs> to set for, for creative work. Um, and uh, also, uh, I, I appreciate the call out to Sega, and, and I, I worked there for several years in the earlier part of my career. I, I enjoy a Sega nerd, and I'm glad you guys are still out there. Um, we have a, a question that came in, and I think that, that maybe this can talk a little bit about uh, influence too, which is just somebody asked, uh, Paul asks, uh, Patricia, how did you uh, develop um, that, that flat style that, that we just saw in, in the real and, and sort of the, the beautiful um, color imagery that comes with that? Well, <clears throat> of course, um, the Kurzgesagt style as it is now, it's very particular and it's very recognizable for people. In the very beginning, that we did not invent the 2D flat design. This was something which was there before. Um, no, we did not. <laughs> Fortunately not. So um, it was um, Philip's preferred um, visual style when he started it. And the bigger the team grew, the more manpower we got, the more illustrators we got. So even then the style evolved. So when you watch the videos, from 2013 till now, you see really that the style always gets more, yeah, it evolves almost every year. It gets more colorful, more layers, more backgrounds, more elements. Even the animation um, also improves constantly. And uh, I think that's it basically, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I love the cyclical nature of, of art and animation. I, like, I, I loved the Beatles' Yellow Submarine, mm -hmm. which had that very, that very flat style. And then it you know, kind of disappears and everything you know, go, really focuses on depth for a while. And cell shading uh, came in heavily, comic looks and, and video games went that way for a while. Um, and, then, and then now we see, again, this, this beautiful, very colorful, flat uh, style that is, is exquisite. Overall, yeah. it's really a team effort, um, which, which is also that one thing what we have with Kurz, because it's similar with like you, we're not as big from the company as you are, we're just 25 people, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a team effort and that's also very important for all of us. Yeah. So everyone brings in his, special, his or her specialty and uh, also in the design department as well as in the animation department, everyone has a bit of a different other style. So we definitely can tell who illustrated this video or who animated this video. Um, for outside people, of course, they don't, can't uh, recognize that, but we can see that, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a great point. I mean, sometimes I wonder, um, because, you know, especially art directors and, and designers, um, they, they come with a specific perspective, um, but, but it sounds like collaboration is still fun. And, and it, like somehow you get that consistency, but the collaboration is fun. How, why, how does that work if, if everybody sort of has their own look and style and like? Because we try to make uh, work not feel like work with Kurzgesagt. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's, that's the secret. <laughs> Um, you guys do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just to enjoy what you're doing. So like Ben, for example, said that we got some illustrators uh, in our art department and graphics. So when uh, I need some good uh, uh, drawn characters, I go to them and say, or you go to them and say, hey, draw me some figures about, uh, give me some characters. And after that, I animate. And so it's a collaborated work. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't do this on my own, uh, I could do this on my own, but it wouldn't look that nice. But maybe it would be a unique style. Maybe I have to try it out. <laughs> the Hannes show. <laughs> the Hannes show. <laughs> Best of Hannes. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think for me, that was, I, I sp spent a long time in production and post and, and animation as well. And I, I think um, that was sort of the joy, was discovering that, that it takes a long time to animate. 
and we've we've accelerated it dramatically thanks to Adobe and other uh, <laughs> capable uh, technologies out there. Um, we, we've we've accelerated. We've taken some of the the more tedium, tedious aspects and 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 made them more approachable. But it still takes a lot of work and a lot of time and energy. And so I think that uh, there was a nice thing about discovering that it was. Uh, you had to work with other people. You know, you you, you need that input. You need that uh, advice. You need that um, that that teaching uh, and and just uh, creative contribution. So, um, I think that when we look at both of your reels, they they feel really energetic. You can almost feel the presence of of people there. I found it interesting that you said earlier that um, the music you're doing for the channel is created by yourself as well. Because we were doing a lot of music for our intros and for our TV station by ourselves as well. Because we don't had any uh, had any uh, budget. license free <laughs> yeah, budget, yeah, <laughs> like every license or royalty music. So we basically just um, yep. after work we sat there with our machine, like the, the stuff we can um, do beats with, and uh, just have a beer, for example, or. Uh, orange juice and <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, make music and have the fun and yeah, let's use that for for a show. Yeah. So so many creative people and you, you always find someone who says, ah, I was a drummer, mm. uh, I know how to make music on the PC. Everyone's and, a drummer at record. It's yeah, funny uh, enough, so. we have uh, we can make stomp again. <laughs> It's funny when I was a kid in bands, you could never find a drummer. There was, you know, there was because because everybody had trap sets still, and it was too loud to play in your parents' house, so there was never a drummer. But now, thanks to machines, we can find <laughs> find drummers. Yeah, um, I should mention for the live stream, if there's anybody who uh, wants to have questions for these folks, uh, we we should put them up. Um, and in the meantime, I'd like to talk about a very important subject, which is pain. Uh, what hurts right now? What are the hardest parts of your job and the work that you do? Um, and 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 where where are you looking for solutions? Ooh. Anybody want to grab that? Uh, so I think there's some technical things we could talk about because uh, we're working with Flash, for example. I mean, that's like real nerdy to talk about these things, but <laughs> most of our uh, motion, live motion graphics are still animated in um, Adobe Flash or Animate, animate how is it called? Animate CC. Animate. Yes. Exactly, yeah, but we had to downgrade to another version, so the plug in for <laughs> our. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, yeah, and I think that's a uh, tedious work. It's, uh, but we learned a lot. So we learned a lot, but it's still. Out. I don't like this software because we uh, l never did it. Before 2015, and I so did it not... once for a school, school project, project <laughs> yeah. um, and it differs to After Effects, and it got its place for animators and for I don't know. Yeah, is but for our purposes, it feels yeah. outdated. So yeah, right? for we our have purposes. to use it because we have this open source broadcasting system, and uh, because yeah, it's not uh, not too much budget there. So yeah. yeah. And we, you know, and we uh, we hear hear that quite a bit, and so that's one of the reasons we're uh, reinvesting in uh, animate now and really um, trying to uh, bring it to some some new places because it's one of those uh, ubiquitous tools that so many uh, animators learned early on. There's still a, a huge number of people uh, who who work with it. Um, new feature films are still being uh, released in it. And so we really felt like it was time to bring some energy mm. um, back to that. And hopefully you'll, you'll see that uh, coming that in the future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, where else? What else is hurting? What else is hurting? Yeah, I, I like to make uh, like sound design and I like to make music and it's hurting that <laughs> there isn't the time anymore. In the start of Rocket Beans TV, we, had, we didn't have this much output, and it was like, okay, we make an intro or a bumper or a packaging, and we had the time to say, hey, I'm going to make the intro song, and mm -hmm. for the bumper, I used some swooshes and some shorts. <laughs> it was all swooshes. So, yeah. and now it's, uh, we have a library of, uh, 
music from everywhere and you're just searching for quirky techno 90s and yeah. you have like and you just search swoosh and you have and uh, back in the days we were making this on our own and it was quite fun and also we made some it's the time we we have so much output and mm -hmm. in the startup feeling we had like hey let's make a music video and we made a song and we made a video and it's now it's more we are we are more the motion graphic designer we have to be mm -hmm. instead of the whole creative package we, yeah. we could bring. You, you, are, you, are, you are pro, in my opinion, in uh, Premiere, you are a cutter as well, you are good with the camera, but now we are just motion graphic designers, and I love it, but I'd love to make music, for example, or make a music yeah. video. And I think they have a prof uh, professionalization, is there a word like that? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. uh, that's uh, hurting, but I think it's hurting for, for a good purpose. Um, for example, as I said, the uh, corporate design of our company, uh, we just mm, really did that in 2018. So um, we had a corporate design before that, but it wasn't really representing our colors and our logo and this kind of stuff. And we had to um, try to, as I said, we got a lot of styles and we need something that helps everything together. So our um, channel is still recognizable. So, um, and yeah, I think that's a kind of a hard, hard job at the moment to, to get that done. So it looks like a, a company, a real company, a real brand with, you can say, hey, that's Rocket Bean style, but uh, still maintain this craziness around it. So um, but don't, don't worry, we won't tell anybody that Rocket Beans is growing up. That, uh, <laughs> that won't come out of my mouth, I promise, because we're going to cover the office nudity section here in just a moment. <laughs> but, uh, Patricia, what about you? What's, where did the pain? I want to add some, one, one thing. Isn't it in a certain way necessary to keep the craziness around it? Because otherwise you, course, yeah. you come to a point where you are corporate and mm. that's yeah, something yeah, we yeah. all don't want to be. That's the hard line. Yeah. Yeah. In the community, so, yeah. there, there are many voices who love what we do and always did. And there are some voices who say, back in the days, it's been more crazy. It was just doing what we're doing, just guys sitting there talking trash. And we had, for example, like they were, were seen in the scissory, we did a live uh, ice skating. We went mm. on. <laughs> was it idea, was an idea. Said, idea. It's stupid make, enough. Yeah. Let's uh, make a show about ice skating. Yeah. And nobody was able to ice skate. Like this, uh, I was it called figure skating, where there's uh, crazy costumes on, like, and going on ice. And never did that before. So uh, I never did the, the, after this, <laughs> no, this so, was, uh, just go on to the ice and look good and spotlight so on it. You're right. We have to keep this mentality, mm -hmm. but sometimes after three yeah, years, the, the bigger you grow, the, yeah. even with us, with the 25 people we are now, it's um, that you have to bring some things in structures yeah. and. Yeah, uh, yeah. You do, don't want to do the same uh, uh, mistakes over and over again and mm. say, oh, like we did a half year ago, the same thing, you forget this. and mm. So you have to learn, you have to go. Yeah. I mean, three years is, uh, is nothing uh, from, from time in yeah. terms yeah. of learning Six how you years. operate a, uh, like a company with 100 people yeah. and be entertaining. And uh, I think luckily, luckily enough, we got this um, uh, community and we've got this feedback like all the time, there's feedback, yeah. there's feedback. And uh, yeah, it helps to see the bigger picture because if you're just working with your nerdy motion graphics uh, thing and everyone is just uh, this uh, narrow space view as a tunnel, uh, I think that's pretty good to have like all the people watching it and talking about it. And I think we've got a pretty good community because they're not just trash talking and hating things. They're really intelligent people there and saying, hey, this would be nice. And we, yeah, we never thought about that. That's awesome. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you also get some uh, ideas from your audience and like all the time and uh, even an, on Reddit and uh, so all over the internet. Yeah. And and they come in. yeah. yeah. I think it's it's a, a difference between uh, online broadcast and traditional uh, conventional broadcast that you really do have that that, that interaction with yeah. your with your yeah. fan base. Yeah. yeah. So so how do you, so how do you keep the craziness around? So. 
Uh, Hannes, uh, in, according to a bio I read somewhere, likes to show his butt in the office. Um, and there was uh, nothing, nothing similar in your bio, Patrizia. Ben, no. there was a weird thing about dreadlocks and, and a like of corn, which, by the way, I hate. Um, but uh, so you're, you're wrong. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, but so when you're growing from you know, 40 to 100 people or from 2 to 25, what, what, how do you keep the, the craziness around? Ooh, how do you to keep the spirit alive? I yeah, think keep that's the spirit a, alive. Yeah, yeah um, years ago we were like uh, one house and like three three office spaces, and now we are in three diff four different houses. And here's the flat, and there's a garage where is it people. Is close by? It's all close okay. by, but uh, sometimes you're just yeah. one week, you're just in one house talking to the people there, 20 people, and then you say, ah, ah I haven't seen you a long time. Do you um, know everyone? I try to, and try to. There are people like just a half a year in their uh, studies and come just to learn something about. And then they leave again. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, this was, I think. So years back, I was like, uh, I wanted to know every name. I wanted to know where you're from. And today, it's, it's hard to. I wanted to, to, want to see your butt. <laughs> it's, uh, you invented this. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of a joke to talk about it. It was like a, we have this uh, yeah, really uh, college style of a gag where you uh, just threw over the corridor. So, I need help over here. I need help over here. And uh, yeah, you always surprise someone with a butt. So that's the story behind it. And it was quite famous. So everyone was doing it and crying for help, help. And uh, well, here's some, uh, some, some mail for you. You have to come. It's really big. So, and you go around the car. Oh, yeah, uh, butt cheeks. <laughs> So, and now with 100 people and more women, which is good to have more women, mm -hmm. uh, but it, uh, today it's a little bit hard to just say, hey, it's my bad. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were pranking Hannes about it. Yeah, because... there was this, this prank and uh, our, our boss uh, told, hey, you have to come to my office. And we had a serious talk and he, <laughs> there is uh, your co-worker, female co-worker, who said you showed your butt and uh, you can't do this here. And so this is the last call. And I said, there, oh, I'm sorry, it's a fun. It's like a game. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then I said, OK, I will, I will say sorry. And I w walked out of uh, the office, and there were cameras. And uh, all were showing their Everybody butt. Said, Got you. <laughs> <laughs> so that was kind, it kind of fun. Good. And you, Patricia, <laughs> how, do you keep, how do you keep the energy? With kurz gesagt, it's ongoing energy every day. Um, it's, cra it's still craziness because we are not as big as um, rocket beans, so um, I think it's easier. Um, but we also feel that the bigger we grow, um, yeah, things shift and change. Well, I'd like to uh, close on uh, two things. Uh, we have just a couple of minutes, but I'd just like to hear, you know, what do you, what do you have to say about, to us at Adobe without naming particular products, because we don't want anybody to cry uh, on our product team. Uh, but but, but what, what do you have to say to us? What do you want from us as, as, we, as we continue to try to work um, to, to bring you the tools uh, for, for creative work? Is there any advice you can give us? I want an alpha channel as a fill color and after <laughs> effects. That's a good one. <laughs> no, I keep, as you are, you, you are uh, asking the artists, and yeah. I love it. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. It's cool. crazy. It's not, yeah, our tools, use them. It's, hey, what do you want? Which fe features you need? And this is awesome. But we, we really appreciate the feedback. So I know it's a pain when you guys get that error message and says, do you want to tell us what's wrong? Please tell us what's wrong. We also have. Um, just a lot of uh, uh, built-in uh, response tools in our video tools uh, that you can tell us what features you're looking for, tell us what growth, but also just, uh, just write somebody at Adobe. We, we would really love to, to know more. Um, and I think I'd like to close on all of us singing happy birthday to oh. Patricia. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patricia. Happy birthday to you. Cheers, and thank you to everybody for joining us. Thank you.